Okay, so he has... Sort of big, droopy eyes, large eyelids. Eyes are dark. And on this photo, there's two highlights. So I'm going to go ahead and draw both highlights in there. shadow from the eyelid under eyelid and we got some wrinkles now the eyebrows is a strange shape hmm let's see how should I draw this okay this is sort of actually the wrinkle of the brow. And then the eyebrow is shaped sort of like this. There's a little wrinkle there at the inside of the nose, uh, the bridge of the nose. Now let's get the other eye in there. He has some large eyelids that are tucked under his brow. Has dark eyes. There's two highlights on this one too, so draw those in there just for the fun of it. Now we're going to get the eyebrow on the other side. And it's sort of like a square of hair. There's a square shape here is what I'm seeing and then a little bit extra. So I'm going to draw in that square shape. And then a little bit extra. Okay, we got the underlid and a wrinkle. Okay, now the nose. Now the nose is sort of shaped like this, and I would say it's big, so let's go ahead and make it bigger. Let's make it real big. Why not? Continues out to the nostril. Draw that on there, and I'm going to suggest a little wrinkle where the nostril is. Now we're going to finish the nostril on the other side. Okay. <clears throat> now he has this awesome mustache. <clears throat> now it's thick and big, so I'm going to be able to draw this as like one shape. And it's much bigger than. A normal mustache so we can exaggerate it I want to keep the shape as the same as what I see but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to push it out and exaggerate it some I'm just drawing some shagginess on the bottom of it I don't want it to be perfectly the same. I'm just making variation in these lines. Some wide, some skinny, some thick. Now I could probably add a couple of lines to show the direction of the hair. I'm not going to completely fill it in because it's a white or, or a gray, light gray mustache. So if I just put a few light lines in there, <clears throat> it's going to look like it. I can't see his full mouth shape, but I can see a bottom lip, so let's just add a bottom lip suggestion in there. And then a wrinkle for the chin. And he's got these smile line wrinkles. Okay, now he's got these smile line wrinkles. Some people would call them crow's feet, but 
I call them smile wrinkle. They curve out like that and then curve out down like that. And then brow wrinkles. Probably because he was concentrating so much on E equals NC squared that it caused wrinkles in his forehead. And when he figured out, I think it was him that figured out the speed of light and, and the theory of relativity. So all that thinking caused these wrinkles on his forehead. Now compared to his nose and his forehead, his chin is comparatively small, so we can make it even more small or smaller. Now we can finish the outline. I'm adding a cheek. It doesn't exactly show the cheek in the photo, but it kind of feels right, so I'm going to add it. I'm making sure this wrinkle overlaps. There's a line here on this side of his face that goes up to his ear. The forehead is kind of wide. But his white hair is growing out of the top of his hairline. And so I'm not going to draw a solid line. I'm going to break it up like this with some white hair. I mean, suggesting hairs, these lines. Now, this brow line. I'm finding is important to to draw so you can, it comes down about here and then grows out so let's draw that and his ears are kind of big relatively big so to speak no pun intended because uh I heard that, and it may be true, that as a person gets older, your nose continues to grow and your ears continue to grow. And so that's why you'll see an older person with larger ears. I don't know if that's true, but that was told to me by a caricature artist, a professional at a workshop. And so I just have to believe what they say until it's proved otherwise. We got a little bit of a neck here. He's got this big coat. It looks like it's made out of thick wool or something. So I'm just gonna draw the a thick collar of this coat. Okay, now we're gonna do the shape of his hair. Not sure how I'm gonna do it. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. I'm gonna show the shape, and I'm not gonna. I may not do it as a perfectly solid line. I may break it up like this, so that it shows. I mean, it reads that it's wispy and um, a little wild. maybe the small side of this marker and uh, finish out some of these wispy hairs. And that is Albert Einstein. I think that one came out pretty good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to if you'd like to see me drawing anything else or anyone else. And I'll see you on the next video.
Okay, on this next one, we are going to try and draw Albert Einstein. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to sketch his face. <clears throat> and I'm just trying to look at basic shapes. That's all I'm looking for now is shapes. This line here is about where his eyes will be. Okay, so here we go. 